So a couple of weeks ago, I get this notice that I supposedly had crossed a bridge and evaded a toll in my car. Uh, problem is, it's in San Francisco and I live in L.A. What's really amazing is that the car in the picture is a lighter color while I'm a dark gray, and the license plate has no discernible letters on it whatsoever. Based on this image, I'm guessing that the city of San Francisco has incorporated AI into vehicle recognition. No human being would mistake that non-license plate for an actual one. So now I have to prove my own innocence by disputing the allegation. I can do that by, on the back of their form, it gives me that opportunity. So if we look at the back of it and then we zoom in, we'll see that there's a section that says, check here if you're disputing it. And then you have to detach some sort of documentation to prove your innocence. Well, being an old guy geek, I decided not to just give them a written explanation and point out the obvious, but to overwhelm them with a preponderance of technical information of why this ticket is impossible. Now, before I wrote the documentation, I decided to get all my pieces of proof together. The first thing, of course, picture of my car with a license plate number. Uh, they know what a number really is, uh, where you can see uh, my car is gray. Not the like the one they showed. The next thing I decided to do was go to my bank and see if I used my credit card that day. And sure enough, on that exact day, the second, I was at the Ralphs in Thousand Oaks and I made a purchase. I further went online and found out that it was done at 9.25 a.m. The next thing I did was I went to a Google Timeline. I have an Android phone. And sure, there I am and I'm driving. And where did I go that day? Well, sure enough, I was at the uh, Ralph's that morning and then a couple other places during the day. So there I am at Ralph's, okay? And you'll see that just after that, uh, I'm driving at 6.02 a.m. to 6.05 a.m. back to my house. So I couldn't be anywhere in near San Francisco then. So to prove it even more, I decided to see how long it would take a trip to San Francisco. So here it is on Bing Maps. You can use any other one. You'll notice that the trip hours is five hours and 58 minutes, almost six hours to go between my house and San Francisco. So now that I had my ducks all in a row, I decided to put together a letter to them detailing each and every one of my points. Starting on the second page, I included a picture of my actual car and the bank statement showing my purchase at Ralph's. I followed that up with the next page that shows my Google Maps of where I was that day. And lastly, in case they calculate mileage as bad as they identify cars, the Bing map showing uh, how long it takes to drive between LA and San Francisco. A short while later, I received a dismissal letter in the mail telling me that based on information I had provided, uh, that a toll has been dismissed and apologize for any inconvenience it may have caused me. While I'm not 100% sure that it was AI that misinterpreted this image or some overachieving uh, employee who wanted me to quote up, uh, lesson to be learned. And the lesson is that although we're being tracked, and then sometimes that's a bad thing, you can use those tools at your disposal to fight something like this. But then there's one more question, is that it wasn't worth my time uh, to save $7 and some odd cents. Uh, may not have been, but it sure felt good. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want more, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get your notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description of this video.